Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about 10 best cancelled Netflix shows. Now not a lot of shows are lucky to last for a few seasons. So today we're going to be looking at some of the shows that were cancelled by Netflix. Starting with Ozark. Ozark is a type of a show that's kind of slow but also very interesting. It follows a financial advisor that drags his family from Chicago to Missouri Ozarks, where he must launder money to please his cartel boss. Now the show is full of tension but it also has its specific vibe. A lot of people, myself included, praised Ozarks season 3, in which the show picked up the pace. But it is reported that this show will end in 2021 after 4 seasons and 14 final episodes. Next show we have is Lucifer. Lucifer is a TV show that follows a life of the devil, aka Lucifer, who lives in LA and is quite different to the devil we all know. Now is this show a masterpiece? Well we wouldn't say that, but it is a definitely interesting show, as Lucifer and other characters show that sometimes world is not black or white, but something in the middle. Originally this show was aired on Fox, but after a while Fox decided to cancel it. So fans of the show along with actors rebelled against this decision and even though Fox dropped them, Netflix picked them up for a new season. But it seems like that the season 6 will be the final season for Lucifer, so it seems like that the show is cancelled. Next show we have is Sense8, which is cancelled after 2 seasons. From the creators of The Matrix and Babylon 5 comes the 10th series in which 8 people can telepathically experience each other's lives. And even though the story is unique and interesting, it didn't have a large fan base, and that was the reason why it was cancelled. So for Netflix, it wasn't a profitable show, and even though the fan base of the show really wanted the season 3, as the season 2 ended in a cliffhanger, Netflix decided that it wasn't worth it for them. Next show we have is Marvel's Daredevil that was cancelled after three seasons. This show follows a young boy, Matt Murdock, who fights injustice by day as a lawyer and by night as the superhero Daredevil in Hell's Kitchen, New York City. And Daredevil had a very specific vibe. It had the vibe of the New York City and the dark past behind it. The introduction to Kingpin was a great addition to the show. And the main reason why Netflix cancelled it was that the show was extremely expensive to make. Now even though Daredevil was a bit slow at times and dark, it was a very interesting show. It is also said that the rights for this show will be returning to Disney, meaning that maybe there will be a season 4 in the future. Next show we have is Dark that is cancelled after 3 seasons. This show follows a family saga with a supernatural twist, set in a German town where the disappearance of two young children exposes the relationships among four families. This show was highly rated and very praised as a great crime drama and mystery TV series. A lot of people credited that the reason why the show was cancelled was mainly because of the use of German language. As a matter of fact, the show Dark is the first ever German language original series on Netflix. This show, even though not as popular, had a lot of impact on other mediums, one of them being gaming, as the creative director of Fortnite said that he was heavily inspired by the TV show Dark when creating the storyline for the video game. Next show we have is American Vandal that was cancelled after two seasons. This is a true crime satire that explores the aftermath of a costly high school prank that left 27 faculty cars vandalized with phallic images. This show is a complete parody of a true crime series, mostly focused on making a murderer. A lot of people enjoyed this show because it plays with the comedy and crime genre. The reasons why Netflix cancelled this show are not clear, but a lot of people assume it might be because Netflix was sharing the rights with CBS for this show. Next show we have is The Patriot Act with Hassan cancelled after six volumes in two years. In this weekly show, the former Daily Show correspondent Hassan 
brings his unique comedic voice and storytelling skill to explore the larger grim trends shaping our fragmented world. Even though we don't know why the show was cancelled, we can assume it might be with the episode in 2019 where the hosts criticized the Saudi government. Because of this, there was a lot of drama, and maybe that is why Netflix cancelled it. And for the last two or three shows, we actually have a group of shows. And those are Jessica Jones, The Punisher, as well as Luke Cage. All of these shows varied in success. For example, Jessica Jones' first season was very successful but the rest of the seasons weren't as successful. Punisher All Around was a great show, and a show we definitely recommend. But similarly to Daredevil and all of these other shows, Netflix decided to pull the plug. The same fate followed Luke Cage, which was also cancelled from Netflix. Now, all of these shows were very good, but similarly to Daredevil, they were very expensive to make and that was one of the main reasons why Disney and Netflix had to break up. In 2020, Netflix has lost all of the rights to the characters because the contract expired, meaning that all of these characters might return to another streaming platform, which will be Disney+. All of these shows were highly rated by the critics, and a lot of people enjoyed the portrayal of these characters but it seems like they will try to find a new home on Disney+. Either way, these were 10, or a bit more, TV shows that were cancelled on Netflix. Let us know down in the comments which of these shows you watched and what did you think about it. Either way, have a wonderful day, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.